everybody and welcome back to my channel and I hope you you all have had a wonderful 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 January beginning of the year um, this is the February art snacks box but of course as you per usual before we get into the art the February box and I've opened it but I have not looked inside so I have no clue what's in in it um, but before we get into this one let me show you what I did for January's box. Now, I think, I do believe that um, I said in my la the Art Snacks video for January that I wanted to do something for Valentine's Day. Well, I did a few preliminary drawings. And I did these little preliminary drawings trying to play with the colors. Now, I like how this one came out. I thought this one came out really nice. I just did a couple of buds. And then uh, this is my heart, the, the idea that I had if only I had the, <laughs> the, the full flower sticking up and I've changed that. And then I tr played with the dark and everything. But I like this one with the little gray around the edges. Well, it came out better in the little thumbnails than it did in the final drawing. Uh, let me show you what happened. <laughs> okay, it's not bad, but it could be better. This is the final drawing. I do like it, but the rose could be bigger. And I want to put like, I won't do it here, but well, I didn't do it here, but I'm going to do it in Photoshop. I want to put Happy Valentine's Day here. It's not a bad drawing, okay? It's not bad. But it did not come out the way I thought it was. In my head, it came out gorgeous. But it's not exactly the way I envisioned it. And like, I should have just stuck with rosebuds. <laughs> and, but like in Photoshop, I can take this and I can blow it up bigger. And I did actually do this um, in, um, I traced over it and I did it in black and white so that I can, uh, it'll be easier in, in Photoshop to blow up this rose. But I did like how I, you know, I, what I did was I just add a little bit of water to the red marker. You know, I've just put it on some Yupo paper. And I diluted it a little bit so I could make the pink, but you know, the pink rose. But I do like it. I love how this this red heart came out. Oh my gosh, it came out so nice. And of course, the yellow the yellow marker was not bad. You know, it wasn't bad. And of course, it did it bled through. Then now the red marker did not bleed through at all. But the other, the yellow and the gray one, did bleed through. But still, I I do like it. But I think I would like to do this in, you know, have the red for the heart, but do the background in a different color. Maybe I should have just done it all in the gray and just left, because it just, it just came out better in my little thumbnail sketches. <laughs> it just, I don't know, it just, you know, it just, it's just one of those things, you know, you do it and it's not, it's not one of my best works, but I do like it, you know, I'm not unhappy with it. It just would, came better. Be, it came out better in my head <laughs> than it did on paper. And I also used the wrong kind of paper. I've been trying to fill up this old, this sketchbook that I got in a smart art box. I've been trying to fill it up, and I've only got like this many pages done. You know, this many pages. But and I've still got all that to do. Um, so I've been trying to use this one as much as I possibly can. But it's not very good for water-based inks. Or markers it's not really good because it will pull up because it was pulling up a lot because you can feel it's a little rough along the edge here where the where I did the the gray marker that it made it darker but still it's not bad okay it, it's it's not bad I it's just I still say this rose could be a little bit bigger you know maybe uh, you know maybe that big you know not maybe that's not well you know at least a little bit bigger than that but st still, I don't think it came out too bad, you know, even all things considering. I only had the, you know, and you, 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 you got to work with what you, you know, what you, you get. And I, that's what I always try to do. I didn't want to add any because I could have probably added other things with other, you know, uh, markers and stuff. But, you know, I still, like I said, I still like how it came out, but it came out better in my thumbnail sketches. Anyway, on to the Art Snacks box for February. <laughs> Let's open it up. And what have we got? We have got, here's the card. And, well, the little bookmark. little bookmark that tells you what's in the box. And then we've got a the um, some candy, the treat. And their little sweethearts. 
Yes, they're sweethearts. Little sweethearts. That's what I meant. I'm a sweetheart. I am such a sweetheart. <laughs> In my mind. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So, and of course, we got the wrapped, the wrapped uh, implements. And, and we've got this piece of, feels like watercolor paper. Bookmark. I would say that's about a bookmark size. Yeah, let me see. Let me see here. Where's my book? Where's my book? Where's my book? Where's my book? I'm trying to grab my book. Yep, that would be that would be a bookmark size. That'd be perfect. Although I would never use this for a book. If I did use it, I would probably laminate it because I would not want to mess up my artwork. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yes. Okay, and then of course we got the lovely wrapped um, implement package, and we've got the sticker that's got. Oh, how cute. It's got little hearts on it. Oh, how adorable. That's so cute. I got to put that in my sketchbook, which ever one that it was that I was, I'm filling up a sketchbook with, with uh, the, the, cup, the inside cover with a bunch of, um, let me show you, with a bunch of uh, uh, art snacks, um, stickers. Let me see here. I got to find the right sketchbook though. That's not, not that one. Oh, ah. It's not that one. Well, nutmeg. I can't find the one that it was. Hmm, that's on un that's unusual. Well, foosball. Is it this one? Ah, see, I'm filling the inside cover with <laughs> all the art snacks um, stickers, and I'm just coloring, making different colors on it. Anyway, okay. Let's get into this box, shall we? Yes, we shall. All right, let's open it up. I try to save this paper. I think I told you guys that once before. I try to save the paper. Ah, nutmeg. Oh, well, it happens. Didn't rip it too bad. I hear a pencil. Ooh, you guys see? Let me see if I can tilt you. No, no, can't tilt you down any further. Let's see if I can get it over further so that you can. There we go. There we go. All right. Let us see what's in the box. First off, we have. Let me see if I can make sure I got the right. Okay. Um, Senulaire, sen sen uh, sen sen I guess that's how you pronounce it. If I, I'm probably Senulaire or Senule. Wait a minute. It's this one right up here. It's this one right up here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I'm not going to say It's French watercolor. <laughs> and it says here, um, it's a $23.50 combined retail value. Oh my goodness! They sent some expensive stuff. And I know, uh, I looked up the price of Art Snacks boxes, and that's more than the Art Snacks box. Or almost as much. I think it's, yeah, it's almost as much as the Art Snacks box. Um, let me see here. Um, it's, a new, um, uh, Art it's new to Art Snacks, and it is, what does it say? A staff favorite. Um, paint like a French uh, Impressionist with Simulaire... simulaire I know I'm butchering that, and I apologize. French artist watercolors. These rich watercolors evoked the, evoked the timeless beauty and vibrancy of southern France. Formulated... Hold on a second. Formulated what? Oh, with honey from the Alps, they boast... In, 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 what? Incomparable. <laughs> Sorry. I am not good today. Brilliance and luminosity. Let's see. Uh, the light in here is not that great. I mean, and the camera looks fantastic, but trust me, it's not that great. Um, the triple, the triple milled pigments ha, um, have produced, have been produced bleh, in the same way uh, uh, for more than a century, giving these watercolors exceptional in. Um, in intensity and smoothness and I am so sorry that I was awful at reading that I am so sorry see what's what, what colors do we got we have let me see we have ah I'm not 
not sure how to pronounce that. It's a blue color. Cendry blue? Let's see if it, hopefully it'll focus. But <laughs> it's a blue color. I think it's in French because I don't know how to pronounce that. And then we have a hold on a minute. Well, I'm not sure, but if I'm not mistaken, this could be a black color. Or a very, very dark blue. I cannot, I do not read French. I should have taken French in high school, but I did not. I took Spanish instead. Because I thought, well, I'll never need French. <laughs> Was I ever wrong? <laughs> yes, I needed French. <laughs> Let me see here if I've got some space in a sketchbook to do a color, little color swatch. Let me see here. Yes, we do. We've got one in one of my sketchbooks here. And, you know, we always do little swatches. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. Do a very, very little. I'll probably use my finger, but let me see here. i got to put it somewhere. I don't want to. I want to put too much out. Ah, that was a little bit too much, but oh well. I'm going to just use my finger. Well, that's a pretty blue. That is a very, very pretty blue. Okay, where's my, there's a paper towel. Let my finger off. I thought it always feels, it kind of feels nice just put you, you remember finger paints when you were a kid? That's what it feels like. It feels like finger paints. And I, I have, how long has it been since anybody's done finger painting? I, I think I'm gonna do that just, just for giggles. Just, just to get some finger paint and, and just, finger paint. And let me see if I was right about this being a black color. I think I'm right. Yep, it's a black color. Let's mix them together and get like a like a midnight blue or something like that. Yep, it was a it's a black color so I had, I received blue and black. If you, if any of you um, get the Art Snacks box, what colors did you get? Now this is going to be hard. I don't know what I'm going to come up with with this, these two colors. I'm sure I'll think of something, but I mean like, you're kind of limited, you know? It's like, what can you do with blue and black? Or black and blue? <laughs> I know! I'll make someone who's got a bruised face! <laughs> I don't know what happened. He got just turned black and blue. <laughs> Anyway, so that is the colors. It's pretty colors. It's really nice, vibrant. Okay, and then we have, then we have the Raphael Mini Precision Brush. It's a $9.95 uh, retail value, and it's new to Art Snacks. Uh, high quality watercolor pa um, paints deserve a high quality paintbrush. Don't be fooled by its adorable small size. The Raphael Mini Precision Brush, um, flat size 2, um, is a state-of-the-art synthetic watercolor brush. Um, it, what is it? Oh, it mimics the exact performance of sable hair, creating the, mo uh, the most accurate brush strokes of any synthetic brush on the market. The bristles hold pigment well, while also retaining their uh, shape um, stroke after stroke. So this is the brush. Is this the brush? No, that's a pencil. Sorry. Sorry! Here we are. Here's the brush. I really hate to take these little things off because it's a nice little flat brush. There you go. There's the brush. Because I'm always afraid when I try to put them up. Now, I'm not going to put them in the paint right now. Um, I don't do that until I actually start using the brush. So, because I don't, I just don't, I just don't want to get it messy yet. Uh -huh. Let me see if I can get this back in without messing up the bristles. 
because I'm always afraid I'm going to do that. I think that's a short end. Let me see here. I don't want to mess up these bristles. Did I get on there? Nope, I didn't get on there right. Sorry, this is taking so long. No, that's not right. I'm going to end up ruining this brush. It, well, okay, I think I got it back on there. Hmm. Did I really mess it up? Because you know once you once you get this thing wet and you try to put this cap back on there. Ah. Oh well. I'll try it later. I'll try to put it back on there later. Okay, next item. Where is the thing? Okay, we have next the Faber Castell Gold Faber Sketching Pit Pencil 2H. It's a 95 cent uh, retail value. Um, lightly sketch your outlines before painting with this. 2H Faber Castell Gold Faber, Gold Faber, I guess that's how you pronounce it, sketching pencil. Uh, made from finely ground graphite and clay. Oh, um, the lead is crafted for a smooth, constant, a consistent, sorry, um, lay down. You won't need uh, to constantly sharpen the pencil either. It's, what the, oh, it's the cat playing with this squeaky toy. Um, or it's chirpy toy. Its core is fu fully bonded with the wood for extreme durability and break resistance. And so let us do the pencil. Good Lord, look how dark that black is. Goodness gracious. Okay, here's the pencil. Oh, that is very light. I do like the pencils that I normally use when I'm sketching. I usually use like around a 2H, 3H, and a 4H. That is very light. That is extremely light. And then we have, then we have, what we have, what we have. We have the Sakura Pigma Micron Pin. I guess that PN stands for pin. Um, it's a 289 uh, retail value. Hold on. Oh, I think it's a new item. It's in a. It's in a. Strange. It's a, the color is all well. Anyway, um, Micron lovers uh, rejoice. Um, Sakura has an, uh, introduced the Pigma Micron PN, a new pen um, suited for everyday writing and drawing, featuring the same quality Pigma ink performance as double plastic nib. Oh, it, it, what? Ink performance. It's double plastic nib, sorry, PN. Oh, that's what that sounds stand for, P, uh, plastic nib, okay. Produces uh, constant uh, fine or medium lines. Their archival ink is also quick drying and waterproof, making uh, this pen the perfect uh, companion to, uh, to your new watercolors. Okay, where's the pen, where's the pen? Here's the pen. I'm getting a collection of these little bad boys. That's nice. What size is it? Does it say? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's just this uh, PN. Yep, that's all it says on the top, PM. Oh, I didn't show you the nib, did I? No, I did not. So there's, there's a nib. And then, last but certainly not least, is this lovely piece of paper. And it says here, uh, try out, okay, the Fabriano Artistico watercolor paper. It's a bonus item. That's new to Art Snacks. Try out your new watercolors uh, on a bonus sheet of 140 pound, 300 G GSM Fabriano Artistico watercolor paper. 
This 100% cotton paper is sturdy and durable and can be with, uh, oh, I'm sorry, and can withstand heavy um, layering and erasing. So cool. Now, I won't read you the joke. I never do. Let me see what... So I never read you the joke, and I do apologize. If you ever want to hear the joke, just leave a comment in the in the you know comments um, box and let me know that you wanted to uh, you want to read it. I mean, you want me to read it to you. But anyway, that is the uh, February's box. I would not. I will not try out the um, the um, watercolor um, uh, watercolors on this paper right now I, because I want to do my little sketch first. And I have no clue what I'm going to do on this piece of paper. But I will think of something. Anyway, that is it for the February's Art Snacks box. And I do hope wherever you are, you are having a wonderful day. Be good to each other. And until next time, y'all take care of yourselves. God bless. Bye.